This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. They're going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, JP Morgan Chase is at it again. They just been fined. $348,200,000 for not supervising their trades, not adu adequately supervising their trades. The OCC says that the business model that was in place at J.P. Morgan Chase allowed their traders and their clients to engage in billions, billions would it be, of trades that could have been questionable. And you know there's a lot of Longs being report shorts being reported as longs, a whole bunch of other shenanigans going on. And if JP Morgan Chase agreed to pay $348 million, how many billions did they make from these questionable transactions? And here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody loses their license to trade. It is business as usual the next day no other industry could you have 348 million dollars in fines billions of questionable trades from your employees and your clients and nobody is penalized nobody loses their license to trade the bank is still running like nothing happened let me tell you guys something. The financial industry has to be the most corrupt industry on the planet. I've never seen anything like this. I did not know this level of fraud and corruption existed. It is really shocking to me. Shocking. Would you guys believe that since 2000, J.P. Morgan Chase has been fined $39.34 billion dollars? For violating the law. If you. Got points like that on your driver's license. You couldn't buy insurance. And you would not be able to drive. If a lawyer did that. If a doctor did that. any If an accountant did that. In any other regular, regulated agency. If you engage in this level of malfeasance. $39 billion in fines. There is no way you would still have your license to trade. There's no way you would still have your banking license. But somehow, J.P. Morgan Chase is still in business. And you know why? Because they donate to the right politicians. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that in any other industry, somebody could have $39.34 billion in fines and still licensed to operate in that industry. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.